The boost in pay for Cincinnati police over the last five years reads 0, 0, 0, 1.5 percent and zero. Given the current climate of Dallas and Baton Rouge and elsewhere, those numbers are jarring to some. I don't think anybody's going to have a stomach for drawing some hard line with police officers right now. FOP President Sergeant Dan Hills tells us today, I hear rumblings of an offer coming soon that would likely be favorable to our membership. When asked about that today, the city manager said, I have no idea. I don't know who he's talking to. He's not talking to me. Harry Black emphasizing fairness, reasonableness, and fiduciary responsibility. Uh, we're hopeful and optimistic, but uh, we're, not, we're not there yet. There translates into a 5% raise for each of the next three years, the way Charlie Winburn reads it. And I would hope by, uh, by Monday that we will have some type of ordinance before us that will support 555 or 554. I would support either one. Police are expecting numbers in that neighborhood once Mayor Cranley returns from the Democratic Convention. Community leaders are hearing support is moving in that direction. I think the city needs to show them as much love as possible for the uh, extremely difficult uh, job that they're doing. This past weekend, police in Cincinnati responded to 11 shootings. The goal of reducing crime by another 5 to 10 percent in the months ahead is still in front of them. We're told the city wants to hold the line at 3 percent for the raises. Going north of that goes unconfirmed tonight. Negotiations are, are ongoing. That's pretty much all I can say. And although City Manager Harry Black says a mediation session, the next uh, 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 meeting in the uh, process uh, is scheduled for Friday, the FOP is expressing confidence tonight that things are moving its way when it comes to pay. Reporting live in the West End, John London, WWT News 5. All right.